All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're now installing the Clutch and Slave Master Cylinder for the clutch pedal assembly because the Harlequin being a 2.0 came with a clutch pedal or a cable clutch assembly and the VR6 is a hydraulic assembly. So Mike is just prepping that for install. Yep. <laughs> is it installed? That's it. All right, that was pretty easy. Do it again. All right, so you pull out the, uh, or you pop out the grommet on the 2.0 car, and you jam the master cylinder in there, and then you'll come around from the other side and secure it with the fasteners. Now take note, the reservoir tube is facing the wrong way. We'll just tilt that this way. Um, we are going to have to add a new hose and we will connect it to this port right here on the brake master cylinder reservoir, which the factory has provided a nice little cutoff here for. But we'll cross that bridge later. So there you have it. Remove the cable assembly, install the hydraulic stuff, and you're well on your way to having a faster car. Let's go see what Mike's doing. <laughs> and right now Mike's just fastening the master cylinder, the clutch master cylinder uh, to the firewall. There is the newly installed clutch pedal or hydraulic clutch pedal with slave cylinder installed. Alrighty, we're gonna now install the VR6 harness. <laughs> it stands in your way. All right, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and start feeding the harness through the firewall. Woohoo. You wanna drop them in alphabetical order. Are you serious? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know they were lettered. They are lettered, actually. Letter and numbered. Are they really? Uh-huh. There's just a soft fit of the cleaned up VR6 harness in our Harlequin project. We're excited. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. All right, so just remove the old throttle cable. And then install the VR6 throttle cable. Probably help if we put a little bit of water on it, but I'm sure we can put it there. Oh, it might be now. Maybe grunt some more. <coughs> By the tag you in. I guess you can just pull it from the other side now. Okay. Okay. All right, so this is the VR6 throttle cable installed. Getting that grommet, grommet pressed in there is a total pain in the ass. I found the trick is to get a little bit wet, get one edge in and kind of keep rotating it, stuffing it in there with like a pick tool. Um, yep. All right, now we're just running the main power cable for the battery relocation to the back. And the reason we have to do this is because since this is a turbo car, the uh, uh, turbo piping from the intercooler doesn't, there's no room for the battery <clears throat> in that location. All right, so there you have it. The main battery cable is installed. Um, we're probably gonna mount the power distribution block in this area. Um, we're gonna wait to mount the expansion, the coolant expansion tank, and then maybe we'll mount it off this bracket. Not really sure yet, but. As you can see, we have it routed down by the sill under the seat and into the rear of the car where we will install the battery box. All right, at this point, we've got the VR6 harness pretty much fully installed in the car. Um, 
Clipton in the factory locations, factory grounds bolted down, everything nice and tidied up, everything secured, ECU bolted in.